Hi, I'm Kirsty Haywood. I'm a professor of health outcomes and I'm the deputy Prodean Pupil. And I'm Adele Kenny, the research culture officer. So research culture speaks to the environment, the ecosystem, and perhaps the place where research takes place. It engages with researchers and research enablers, but really focuses on all those elements of work that they do that isn't research. So this has many, many different moving parts, which may speak to personal and professional values, behaviors, norms, and expectations across their research journey we very much look to initiatives already in this space, including the Welcome Trust activities around research culture cafes and building on my personal experience of working within World Cafe events, which were fantastic for engaging with different members of the community to explore new ideas and concepts in a more informal space. We built on those ideas and that thinking to engage with staff and students from across our community, inviting them to take part in a three hour event they took part in small and large group discussions to address that key question of what does a research culture of 2028 at WMS look like? And more importantly, how do we actually get there? Each cafe built on the previous one, but all together helping us to really work in understanding what research culture meant, what the key components of it were, and how we can enhance elements that were perhaps not working so well for our community at that time. So our community identified three core values. These spoke to valuing our people and the centrality of well-being and career and talent development was central to that concept. They also described the value of community, collegiality, collaboration and citizenship was central to that. And then the third value was that of research, valuing our research and recognised the importance of valuing the research process, valuing research integrity, and the importance of open research within that space. The National Centre for Research Culture is essentially a collaboration hub, which will hopefully foster innovation, creative thinking, and share best practice across the HE sector. We've really enjoyed our own collaborative journey, and the opportunity to work more closely with the NCRC has been really welcomed. We see the future continued collaboration with the centre as essential to our own development, but also enabling us to share our best practice and our thinking, both centrally, but also with external partners and helping us to all contribute to the wider HE sector and a better research culture for all.